Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to our new simulation game. Today, we're playing Supermarket Simulator. And this fellow was nice enough to give me a ride in his supercar. Uh, gotta be honest, I was setting up my recording, and he just kind of took me around. Didn't ask for it, but thanks. Now I have no idea where the hell my st store is. I'm not even joking. Well, it's nice to see we have a whole town we can explore. Um... Does anybody know where my store is? I should probably know where that is. Seriously, I, I've, I've, I've lost it. Aha! There it is! I knew I'd find you again. Is this my bike? No, it's not my bike. I can't afford a bike. All I have is this very yellow store right now. Gotta say, it's nice to play one of these uh, simulation games where there's not junk everywhere, though. This is legit how it came, and it's pretty nice. So right now, we have to order our first little bit of food. I was just looking at all this stuff, and I'm overwhelmed already, so great. All right, so it looks like we can get uh, cereal, sliced bread, flour, all this good stuff. I'm just going to sell oil. I am going to be an oil salesman. Oh, wow. Oil is not cheap. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna, we are gonna—we can only buy two oils, which I think is 12 each, so 24 oils. <laughs> just going to sell oil. What the hell? All right, and there is shipping in this game, so uh, yeah, we have to worry about that. So we're gonna have to do big purchases. And there's my oil right there. Thank you. What do I just... Oh. Oh, that's satisfying. I like that. So I can just auto place it. What do I do with this? Oh, thank you. All right, there we go. We got a massive selection of oil and more oil. You would think I'd have a little bit more money than $50 if I'm running a store. Uh, how do I set the price? Oh, I gotta actually click the sticker. Okay, so market price is $450. So we're gonna cut the market and do $4. And that'll be a profit of 250. I feel like that's gonna be pretty good. And it looks like, oh, it's so smart. It's nice when a game's smart. I don't have to manually do everything that I buy. So it knows now if we buy oil, I think it's gonna be four dollars each. Okay, and now we have to obviously open the store. And is this my first customer? Yes, it is. Am I tall or are you extremely short? I don't know which one is which yet. Okay, I'm gonna say you're extremely short. Okay, what, what, what do I have to do? Um, oh god. Uh, 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 sorry, it's my first day. Oh, okay, I just have to click it. Oh, and then I take her money? Okay, <laughs> dude, she stood there for so long. Oh, God, and now I have to give a dollar change. Okay, so I'm actually giving change in this game. You know what? I'm gonna g give you a tip of one cent just because I like you. You're my first customer. Oh, God, no. Oh, I didn't mean... How the hell do I close this thing? Now I'm giving you 11 cents. Uh, oh, I just had to press space. There you go. Enjoy your 11 cents. Thanks for not telling me I gave you too much change. Hello. Ah, I see you've, you've bought my oil. Not like you have a choice. <laughs> okay, this guy went by card, so that's cool. Uh, oh god, what the frig is the total? Okay, four, of course it's- What am I saying? Of course it's four dollars. So four. I hope I did that right. Oh, this is- this is over. Well, I am not good at stuff like this. Uh, okay, so you gave me- what, what did you give me? I don't- I don't even know what I, what, what you gave me. I think she gave me $4, so get the hell out of here. What is wrong with your eyes? Okay, and this guy gave me $4 as well. Okay, I'm getting it now. It was a bit chaotic at the start. $1 change. Here you go, sir. I'm going to give you an extra cent because I like you too. And what happens? Wait, wait. What happens if I don't give them their money back? Can I just, can I just steal? All right, well, there was a chaotic introduction, and now there's like nobody left. I've seen you before. <laughs> Again, every time I play these games, I see the models. How does every game have the same freaking models? All right, so this is $4, but I, I'm going to do an illegal move. We're going to go for 5 Oh, I tried. Can't scam in this game, unfortunately. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've officially profited. I'm at fifty-one eighty-eight, and as you can see, my shelf still has so much oil on it. Also, there's no freaking customers anymore. What do I have to do? Go outside and bring people in? Hey! Hey! Who the hell needs oil? I've seen you as well in many games before. <laughs> Just recognizing everybody from all the other games I've played. Uh, oh god, what am I, what am I doing? Okay, dollar back. <laughs> Dude, I would never be able to do this. Oh my god, we just had, I think, two doubles? Yeah, that is literally my whole stock. Good timing, too. It's looking like it's the end of the day, so uh, I think we did pretty good. I should probably purchase some more. All right, so the loans actually aren't bad in this game. $832 to pay back with this uh, term. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a daily payment of $70. Take the $750 loan. And you guessed it, we're buying more oil. 
All right, we should probably buy some other products as well. You know, that's kind of the point of this game. So we'll add, let's just add one of all these flour, powdered, pasta. And there's $183 closed after 9 p.m. This, this is online, my dude. This is online. Online doesn't close. What are you doing in my store? Get the frig out, you weirdo. There's nothing in here. Maybe I should do the close sign. Where do I sleep? Oh, I should read my screen. Press enter to finish the day. So 19 customers. I guess that's good. I don't know. Made a profit of $57 and my balance is much more aggressive, but we're going to have to buy a lot. You'll receive daily bills starting today. Make sure you pay the bills using your computer before the due date. They'll be paid automatically. Okay, great. Uh, well, first and foremost, let's purchase this. And well, would you look at that? Holy crap. Where is that coming from? All right. Now we're a serious supermarket. Look at that. We got bread. You know you're serious when you stock bread. All right, now we actually kind of look like a store. I mean, a very small store, but uh, yeah, looking a lot better now. Of course, we have lots of oil. I need to set up these prices now. So can I go past the market price and still sell? I just want to see. So I'm going to sell my uh, cereal for an insane amount of $8. And yeah, if we sell any of that today, it might be smart to just price this stuff like crazy. But the rest of it, I'll put within market price slightly below. Oh, this is great. People are actually buying more products now. It's almost like, you know, having just oil is not a very smart idea at all. Cereal is too expensive for you. I mean, checks out. Good to know you guys will say that if that happens. This is a... I don't know why, but this is very addictive. It's the actual cashing out that's really, really fun for me. I didn't expect that. $14. Look at that. We're making lots of money now. All right. It's time to purchase our first product license. So this is how we're going to get more products, obviously. We have to buy the actual licenses. Where the hell are they? In furniture? Pro I'm confused already. Management? Yeah, licenses. Okay, so yeah, you need a license, for example, for beer. Very expensive. Oh my God, these things. I just realized the pricings of these. Oh, we're not getting a license anytime soon, man. The cheapest one is, I mean, $200 isn't too bad. All right, so I guess this is our store for a little bit until we can buy that a license. Oh, wait, what am I freaking saying? I have a loan. <laughs> I can buy it now. There we go. All right, so it wants me to purchase a fridge or a shelf. We already have shelves, so let's get a decent-sized fridge here. We, we may as well get the big one because we're going to need the big one sooner or later. Big purchase, but should be worth it so we can keep some of this stuff cold. I'm assuming some of it's going to benefit from being cold. All right, we're already upgrading ourselves. Look at this beautiful thing. So now I'm assuming that license that I got is for drinks. Could be wrong on that, but yeah, we got bottled water. So we'll add a bit of that. Uh, I definitely want to get to alcohol because I'm assuming it's going to be worth a lot more. I want to get a bunch of milk because I feel like milk's going to be common cheese. So yeah, you have to throw these things in the fridge. Uh, that's pretty cool. And we'll get some eggs as well, assuming I have enough money, and I do. So we'll purchase that and stock as we check out these people. All right, and nobody's buying that cereal, so you can't just charge like crazy. Uh, we are going to have to stay within market price. All right, another day done. $150 in the bank. Uh, I may as well just restock tonight, so we have a full day of selling tomorrow. It wants me to expand my store now, so I guess we can expand these walls. I mean, we are going to be running a supermarket after all. This is essentially a corner store right now. So yeah, I'm excited to see how, how crazy big this place is going to be. Oh, this fridge doesn't hold as much as I hoped for. Well, bad news. I thought I had access to this storage. Wait, is there... There's, there's a door here. Hold on. How do I... How do I open doors? Oh, it needs to be in a fridge as well. I've already maxed out my fridge. Crap, I'm going to have all this product that might spoil. All right, well, hopefully milk doesn't curdle overnight because, yeah, it's just kind of hanging out here. I'm assuming this is also, yeah, this is also refrigerated stuff. Great. Oh, market prices have changed. Oh, there's an actual market. I think eggs went up, so we should probably check that. Yeah, baby. I like this fluctuating market. That gets me excited. All right, day's open. I got to sell lots of refrigerated stuff so this stuff doesn't spoil. So yeah, I, I, I guess I have to buy my storage or something. I'm not allowed in yet. Okay, I've been selling a lot more and 84 cents. Okay. But yeah, I have uh, $400 in the bank. Oh, God damn it. Okay, just go away for a second. Just let me, <laughs> let me do stuff. Thank you for giving me exact change. How nice of you. Uh, but yes, I'm supposed to expand this store out now. So we're going to get a four by four meter room. Purchase. Oh, yeah, that's down. Okay, I was like, where did it go? It's behind this. Why would you do that? Now I got to move everything. I really need to hire a cashier. I'm starting to lose my mind. So that's going to be my next goal. 
Oh, it's not. Oh, wow. I need to do at least 200 checkouts myself. We're at 79 so far. Guess I have no choice. Holy, my first like major purchase. I think I've only had a couple over $30. That was only $30. What the hell? Oh, I thought that was a good purchase. Now it just means I have to restock my damn shelves. Okay, a week later and uh, I'm dead inside. I, I really, I really need that freaking employee. I'm losing my mind. It's literally just like a job. I mean, what'd you expect, I guess? Actually, big brain move. Travel times are a thing. We're just going to move this nice and close for right now. So haven't really done much. I bought an extra fridge, as you can see. Uh, going to buy, actually, do I have enough? No, because I had to pay my bills. I want to get this next product license. I'm hoping, I don't know, salt or basmati rice is, is going to be worth some, some more. Because, yeah, I am not earning much. My biggest order has been $50 so far. And we're going to need a lot more money than that if we want this place to be successful. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's hardly successful right now. Oh, it's so beautiful when it's fully stocked. So, God, I don't even know. I think I'm pretty close to 200 sales. I still have to get... Le oh, I've actually gotten 200 sales. I have to get a level 10 store, though. Uh, these levels are getting much, much slower. So, that's a bit of a bummer. But, yeah, I, I am just... Oh, my hand hurts so much. It's just so much freaking clicking. And you have to do so much. It might not seem like much. And I have it like clockwork now. But all I can do is just sit here. I can't even restock during the day. I have to do it in the middle of the night like a maniac. Maybe I should really buy that stocking place soon. I, I've turned outside as my stocking area, as you can see. Inside, it's just it's too, it's too much. I can't even hire a stocking guy, so I have to deal with this whether I like it or not. I might be spending a little bit too much of my money on supplies. But I really get annoyed when somebody comes here. They can't buy something because uh, then I lose points throughout the day. So I'm trying to keep my stock going as much as possible. Because a happy customer is a returning customer. And I'm just trying to hold float here. Uh, but yeah, okay. So we can restock now. We have a little bit of free time. I did have this organized at the start of today. But uh, that has pretty much stopped now. Okay, I have some more pasta over here. I'm going to try and organize these shelves more too. Okay, gonna take a bit of a break from, well, just selling like crazy, just restocking right now. Not that I really need to. But look at how organized I'm becoming. I got rows for everything. Oh, God. I need some uh, pasta, that's for sure. I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have some. <laughs> I have so much stock. All right, we're definitely gonna need some more pasta, though. I mean, there's a lot of Italians around, so uh, gotta keep my customers happy. But yeah, I figured maybe we should get into more products. Not that I really want to because I'm getting anxiety th thinking about it. Like the management of just dealing with these amount of products is kind of insane. If you want to keep it organized. All right. And the one thing I've been missing is black tea. So we'll throw that down. I got to check my pricing today too because the market fluctuates every day. And then if you're asking for too much money uh, and you don't notice, people will complain and then you lose money. So uh, yeah, I have to check my prices usually too. Okay, everything looks good. Like this one, for example. If I would have sold that for 310, I would have been complained to. So I'm trying to keep my customers happy. Uh, I am going to need some more grain as well, I think. Or sorry, flour. Uh, so we'll just add five of those to the cart and purchase that. Okay, I had $700. Now I'm back down to 300 and something. Because products are expensive. And I need 400 for the next product license. So I guess I should have uh, bought that first. Besides, it's just more... What is wrong with me? And I need to have stock. It, like, bothers me. All right. So I think I'm just going to stop stocking and, like, try and sell this. So I see how much money I actually have. Because all my money is going into stock. But, man, it's looking good in here. But, yes, when I get the $400, we will un unlock the next set of products. All right, so let's purchase the product license. I'm very curious to see how much these are worth. We got peanut butter now. That's always exciting. Everyone likes a good jar of peanut butter, I guess. So, yeah, it doesn't look like these new upgrades dictate prices because these things are actually cheaper. So, I don't even want to buy them right now, but I know I'm going to be have annoyed customers saying i don't have those products now which is why i didn't really want to unlock that yet all right big sale for the win give me the money what do we got oh perfect yes and we actually did get the 10 all right i'm just gonna finish up these last ones and then i'm never doing this again because it's fun for you know the first 15 times i think i've done it like 300 times now oh perfect change that's great okay bye i'm gonna hire people now you are hired oh and he's already here i didn't have to wait till the next day this i 
I can, I can just watch. I, I can just sit here like the owner that I am and do nothing besides make sure I'm profiting. So we have to make sure we're, do we're doing that right, you know? Look at him doing that thing. I, I, I did that. I'm not even joking. This is, uh, it's been two hours so long. I, uh, I was doing that. Now he's doing it. He looks dead inside as well. It's perfect. Hope you guys really like chalk pick because, uh, that's all I bought evidently. And now, well, he earns me money, I can actually buy things. So the next thing we're going to want is obviously a decent shelf. Uh, I think I want to get the freezer as well. So I'm going to need $600 for that. Well, we'll definitely get that sooner or later here. So, wow, you can actually expand your store 23 more times. That's kind of insane. And yeah, the daily wage of this guy is $80. I should definitely be able to profit that, assuming I actually have stock. I don't really have stock right now, but uh, yeah, he's, he's doing a good job. All right, guys, I think it's a good time to wrap up this one here. I mean, we started today with nothing, and now we have a little bit more of something and one employee. I gotta say, I think it's gonna be pretty satisfying from now on, though. The first bit was a little bit of a grind, but these games always are. Uh, we are getting to this game quite early, though, but it feels extremely polished. I love the uh, stocking management that we have to do. And yeah, if you guys would like to see more, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. It's too bizarre. Why am I bizarre? What's wrong? That face is too, it's it's too messed. Here, put the smiler on. Somebody show him. Oh my God. No, I'm keeping it.